Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 17.4. So we're currently on beta 3, but it looks like Apple is done with adding new features to iOS 17.4. Well, they have added a lot of them on the first couple of betas. The third beta seems like it doesn't have any new features, just some minor changes and improvements. So in today's video, I will show you guys every new feature that is coming to your iPhone with iOS 17.4. Now, first of all, we're talking about something that is not coming to every iPhone, just the iPhones in EU, and that's side loading. Finally, Apple will allow side loading on the iPhone, basically it's third party app stores, but it will unfortunately happen only in EU. Also, it's Apple is bringing game streaming services to the app store that of course will be worldwide and for every user, but finally they allowing some competition for Apple Arcade and all that stuff. So finally, you will be able to have game streaming services on the app store. Now, another thing that has changed on the app store is the purchase history. Now, when you go to your account, you will have your purchase history right here. So you can see this has been changed here. We'll have now app subscriptions, notifications, and also the purchase history where it will show you all the purchase history of your account. Everything will be right here. Your in-app purchases, your apps, and all that stuff. And of course, you can filter them, organize them, and see what you have purchased with your account iOS 17.4 also brings a new widget to the home screen of your device. We have this digital city widget for the clock app. It looks pretty cool. And we have these like lines right here that shows the second you will have a big digital clock right there. And it shows also what the name of the city right there on the top. Now, of course, with iOS 17.4, we also have new emojis. When combined with different skin tones and all that, we have over 100 new emojis that Apple has added to the new iOS 17.4. And there are some like chains, limes, Phoenix, some things like that that Apple has added that are pretty cool to have. But again, we have over 100 new emojis on iOS 17.4. One really interesting feature that Apple has added with 17.3 has also been changed on iOS 17.4 and that's stolen device protection. Now what it does basically with 17.4, it has a couple of options here. So you choose when you want to have it on. So require security delay all away from familiar locations or you can choose now always. So it will require the delay, the one hour delay, no matter the location of the device. Moving here under the Siri settings, if we go here, we have now messaging with Siri. Now this used to be automatically send message or something like that, but now it has been renamed to messaging with Siri. But not just that, we also have a pretty imp important new feature here. You can see now we have a button to add languages. So it says read messages. Now Siri will be able to read messages in different languages. So you tap on add language and you will have here a few different options. Now Siri can read messages from any of these languages. And of course, if you use like a second language or you communicate with someone that uses another language, you can just choose it from here and Siri will now be able to actually read those messages, messages to you. Now, one feature that's really cool that Apple has added on the first beta of iOS 17.4, but they removed it with the next two betas. Hopefully it will make it back with the fourth betas or the final release is the live activity feature for the stopwatch. So you basically start here the stopwatch, it goes to your dynamic island and the lock screen as well. It is not working here on beta three. Hopefully if they bring it back because it's very useful, especially for the lock screen. Now, another thing Apple has changed with iOS 17.4 is the ability to turn off hand gesture reactions on third party apps. So all the video call apps that you use, Apple has added, you know, with iOS 17, the hand gesture reactions, they couldn't be turned off on other apps. Of course, they have it for FaceTime, but if you use something like WhatsApp, for example, you wouldn't be able to turn those off. Now, Apple has added with iOS 17.4, the ability for the devs to be able to have a button on their apps that allows to turn those off. Now we have changes here on the wallet app as well. Now the wallet app on iOS 17.4 supports Apple Cash virtual card numbers. So you can have a virtual card number. And what's really cool is that you can actually require a new one 
anytime you want and it's pretty simple so if you use apple cash you will be able now to have a virtual number and change it at any time you want moving on into the podcast app now the podcast app has been changed on ios 17.4 and it has now some pretty cool features now this is a splash screen that you will see once you open this podcast app for the first time on ios 17.4 talking about the new features transcriptions and search in transcriptions which are really cool new features so let's just move on to the podcast app so here we have the podcast app the first thing first thing you will notice here are a couple of visual changes first of all we have this renamed to home the button right there the mini player here has been redesigned as well and now when we go here into a podcast we can enable the transcription using this button right there you can see how cool that is you play the podcast it shows you the transcription and also it goes into a full screen mode which lets you see the full page of transcription right here now the other feature was the ability to search so any word anything you want to search into that podcast you just tap the search button right here and you can now simply search anything you want into the transcription of that podcast now the home button you just saw right there on the podcast app has been added to the music app as well so you no longer will see listen now whatever it was now it's just called home and apple has done that for the books app as well on ios 17.4 so now it says home so basically on every app they're just renaming it to home which is pretty cool and it's basically the same for every app that they have and another thing right here for carplay if you use carplay on ios 17.4 once you have turned off your car it will show you on the screen of your car this message right here which says goodbye and it's actually a pretty nice touch so these are all the new features that are coming to your device with ios 17.4 it's a very exciting update especially when talking about game streaming services and of course side loading but unfortunately only for eu this might be the last big update to ios 17 before apple moves on to ios 18 which seems to be a great update now currently we're on beta 3 of ios 17.4 we're expecting a new beta probably on the 20th here and then maybe the RC version or another beta on the 27th but we can expect the final release of iOS 17.4 somewhere here on the first or the second week of March as usual Apple will release those at the beginning of the week so the 4th or the 11th of March should be the dates when Apple releases iOS 17.4 to the public so that's pretty much it for this video guys Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and of course subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.